everyone it's me crystal chanel if you are new here welcome to my channel if not welcome back today we are going to be doing a wash day i'm going to be taking you through my entire wash day and going over the products that i'll be using this is going to be kind of like my second wash day since i had my haircut i'll make sure to put the link somewhere here for you all to see that haircut that I received uh, as I am transitioning from relaxed back to natural. I was relaxed for a little over a year and decided that it just wasn't for me. My hair is much healthier when it is natural. So we are transitioning back to natural. And the products that I'm going to be using today to help me go through this wash day is going to be number one, my Olaplex. I'm going to do a bond treatment on my hair. I did do an Afro-G treatment last week. Uh, so that was just a two minute keratin treatment that I did. So today I am going to follow up with the Olaplex bond treatment. I'll be using the number three to do that. And then to follow up with that bond treatment, I am going to go ahead and proceed with shampoo in my hair. Now for my shampoo, I'm going to be using two different shampoos. I am going to be using one to kind of focus more on my relaxed strands and that's going to be the Kerastase. With this particular shampoo right here, I do really love this shampoo. It has a very luxurious feel to it. It smells wonderful and it's good for your hair. And then for my roots where I am transitioning and where my natural hair is coming in, I am going to be using the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. So those are going to be the products that we'll be using in the shower. Once we get out of the shower, I am going to be doing a deep condition where I'll be sitting under my steamer. And for that particular process and for my deep conditioner today, I'm going to be using the Olaplex number no. 8, which is the moisture mask. If you have not used this moisture mask, it is really a great product. It's really good for your hair and I really love the way it makes it feel. So I am going to be using this today for my deep moisturizer. If you're interested in this video and want to come through this wash day process with me, make sure that you stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get started with the number three Olaplex treatment. I'm going to start by dampening my hair. I got a spray bottle here with warm water. I went ahead and sectioned my hair into four sections. Let me put my towel on y'all. I'm tripping. All right, so I am dampening my hair. If you're not aware, I am <clears throat> right at nine months post, getting ready to go into 10 months post. And I have quite a bit of new growth, y'all. I'm really surprised at how much I have, but I think it's because I spent a lot of time in sew and protective styles. You know, my hair has been up for a while. The only part of my hair that I kind of con am concerned with is the front of my hair where my leave out was. My front always grows a little bit slower than the back. So that part is taking some time. I'm going to go ahead and just put some of this into the back of my hair. And I am just using my fingers to comb it through. I'm not going to actually use a comb for this step. It does say to bring it and comb it through your strands. So I'm just using my nails to go ahead and do that.
All right, y'all, so I'm under the steamer. I have the steamer going for 22 minutes and I have the red light on here, which is good to stimulate hair growth. So I'm going to sit under the steamer here. As you can see, some of the steam is already taking place and it feels really good under here. I got this steamer from Wayfair. So if they still have it, I'll put the link below for everyone. But this is my favorite part of my wash day because it's so relaxing. So I'm gonna go ahead, sit here for about 22 minutes and then we'll go ahead and try and either start rolling my hair up or washing this out. So stay tuned. My leave-in today is going to consist of the Mazzani. It is a lightweight leave-in conditioner. It's very lightweight, y'all, and it provides so many good benefits for your hair. My stylist used this on me when I had my last silk press, and it is a heat protectant. It's good for all curl types, all hair types. It moisturizes, detangles, reduces frizz, and it protects heat up to 450 degrees. So if you're looking for a overall leave-in conditioner that's just a good conditioner, check this one out. When I say the new growth is new growth in y'all, I have some really good new growth to be nine months in. I mean, I was saying to myself that I'm probably going to big chop or take the rest of my relaxer ends off when I am 22 months. That was going to be my stretch. I was going to go 22 months, but I don't know. I may go a little bit sooner. It's the only time will tell, but my new growth is overall looking very healthy. Um, I can't wait to kind of just have my natural hair back. So make sure you stay on this journey with me because yeah, it's going to be a struggle for real. I plan on freestyling my roller set today, which is why I'm combing my hair down like this. I don't really plan on doing any actual roller set parting or anything like that. So don't get confused by the way you see me combing my hair down. It's just an easy way for me to understand exactly which way or direction my rollers are gonna go for that particular section. And then everything else is gonna be going just kind of freestyle. So what I'm doing right now is just going in and flat ironing my roots and my hair. For the most part, I'm just doing one pass on each one, but there are a couple that I do, you know, two passes just to make sure that my roots get straight. And while my hair is still hot, I take a roller and I roll my hair up. And this is how my hair is going to sit for the next day. Now with my rollers, if you want the same size rollers, I am using the black and the purple rollers for my size. I'll link those in the description as well.
right, y'all. So I have finished straightening my hair. I went ahead and curled it also. And then after I curled it, as you saw in the clips, I did go ahead and set it with some rollers. So my complete head is now set with rollers. And I am going to let this sit for pretty much the day. I'm just going to do some household chores. And then we'll come back, take it down together, and see what the final outcome is. Stay tuned. We are back. Let's go ahead and take down these rollers and see exactly what this looks like y'all i ended up sleeping in this overnight so the sleep wasn't that bad i just slept on my back i just didn't feel like taking them out yesterday so let's go ahead and take these out now Here is the final look y'all i absolutely love it this is the dry roller set with me actually flat iron and curling my hair with a flat iron and just staying with these overnight my hair came out very light and fluffy i didn't end up using any type of uh, spray or oil in my hair my hair is very fine as y'all know so i didn't want to weigh it down any extra but this looks so good i mean the curls are there the body is there it's doing what it's supposed to do and what i'm gonna do now is just put on my makeup get myself together but this came out so pretty i love it and what i'll do every night is i'll probably pin curl it instead of wrapping it because i want to keep this body and i'm gonna see if i can take this for about a week and a half because yeah i really like this i need to try and take it for a whole two weeks if i can but y'all i never can go two weeks with a hairstyle but look at this body it looks so good let me see if i can turn around and, and let y'all see the back absolutely love it uh gives me very old school uh claire huxtable and yeah that's that's what I like. So let me know if you have any tips below in the comment. Let's talk about me doing a roller set on my transitioning hair. I need some help, y'all, because I don't know how to roller set and keep the roots straight. So if you have any tips on roller set natural hair or curly uh, transitioning hair, drop your girl a comment below. I'm interested to chat with you. I hope you all like this video. I hope you all like the way this final result came out because I know I do. Make sure you stay tuned for more content and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.